Hey cutie. Welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Laura. Hi, hello, welcome. I am having a very clumsy, clumsy, clumsy week this week. I I was getting ready to film this video. I, when I was getting ready and gathering up the palettes I wanted to talk about in this video today, I have not, not only dropped this once today, I have dropped this another time this week shattering two shades out of this palette. What a total bummer. So I will somehow be working on that shade eventually to finish. Welcome to my eye bank update where I have a low buy for my eyeshadow this year. And let me tell you, boy oh boy, is this project helping me curb my eyeshadow spending so much. I am so excited. There were many occasions this past month where I started to put some things into a cart and like a little little online shoppy shop, then consulted my iBank spreadsheet and realized, girl, I do not want to be in the negative again. Again, no thank you. So I promptly um, closed the windows that had um, said eyeshadows on them. And I'm really proud of that. So if you are new to this iBank series on my channel, I am doing an eyeshadow low buy and it's a point system. So every eyeshadow coming into my collection is 10 points. I negate 10 points out of whatever bank I have established. I can go into the negatives. Unfortunately, we were there. We've been clawing ourselves out of that space. And anytime I use up an eyeshadow, I give myself five points. If you want the full rules, there's points dedicated to usage hitting pan and finishing eyeshadows, as well as no pan left behind, which is the first thing we'll talk about in this video. So if you are curious about my rules on how I can use points and how I can gain points, I'm going to list my spreadsheet down below. Um, that has kind of real time usage on my eyeshadows as well. So you can see my usage and what you think I can actually make for my goals or you're like, girl, what are you doing? Typically in these iBank series, I talk about any like naughtiness that I had over the course of the past month, which is bringing things into my collection, which I'm so happy I did not bring any new eyeshadows into my collection. I mean, technically, this came in February. This guy here, this is the Fantasy Cosmetica Wizard palette. They do send, Fantasy Cosmetica did send this to me in PR. I have already actually no pan left behind this little spoiler for later this video. This is so pretty. I did film a couple looks with this. I will be posting them as YouTube shorts in like reels and stuff. So be on the lookout for that. Anyway, so this came into my collection, but it doesn't take any points away because a treat is a treat. PR is a total treat for me. I'm never expecting it and it's always just a surprise. So this came into my life, but it didn't take any points away from my collection. So there was no like real naughtiness to talk about. However, just because we didn't bring anything in to the collection didn't mean we were in the positive last month. As of the last update, we were actually at negative 14 points in my beauty bank. I had brought in a Pat McGrath palette into my collection. So I had 10 shades come into my collection last month, which put me at a negative 100 in my points because every shade is 10 points. So I was clawing myself out of that deficit for the past month and I was not there in February. And we actually, we're going to talk about my predictions versus reality. I had a lofty goal to really get out of the negatives. So let's just go over my predictions versus realities for February. And I usually split this into like my different points thresholds that I can give myself points for. So starting off, I had no pan left behind is a way that I can get points. And every time I hit no pan left behind, it's the initial no pan left behind for the year. Once I complete that for the palette, I give myself a point for doing that. So I had the goal of touching four palettes for no pan left behind, and I did meet that goal. I actually was, I was really, really trying. And there was a couple palettes that I thought I could get additionally, but I'm okay with where we are in terms of the usage. So the points for that are very exciting. However, it's quickly short-lived by my 10 uses goal. I thought I was gonna hit 10 uses on six shades in the past month. And I don't know if you remember when I filmed or if you missed my last update, I'll link it. But 
I mentioned, Ugh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to meet this goal because I it was like halfway through the month and I still didn't have anything 10 uses. And I'm happy to say that I did actually meet the 10 uses goal on a couple shades. The first item I was able to hit 10 uses comes from About Face. It's my matte fluid eye paint. This is actually in my Project 24 uses. So I did my 10 uses on that. And then I was for February also using the ColourPop single in Say I Do. This just, I bought it to wear on my wedding day and it just makes me think of love and happiness and it makes me think of Valentine's Day because love and happiness. So then going to 25 uses, I did think I would be able to hit 25 uses on four shades. And I'm happy to say I actually hit it on five shades. I'm not going to go into it too much because all of them are from my Pan That palette. So I'm going to, it was a really good update. If you missed it, I will link it. It was a really good update. Um, when I'm filming this, I filmed it yesterday. It was a fabulous update. So I ended up needing that on five different items, giving myself um, 10 points into my bank for that, which is just great. I'm so happy about that. I did have a goal to hit pan on two shades within the month of February, and I actually did that. So again, I wanted to get two pans and four points, and I hit that goal, got my four points. And then there was a shade I wanted to finish, and I ended up, I did end up finishing that shade. So I gave myself five points. And then I actually met a bonus goal, and I did hit 50 uses on a shade, giving me three more points in the project. So I predicted I was going to bring 27 points into my bank within the month of February, and I actually brought 29 points into my bank for now, which brings me into the positive. So at the start of February, we were at negative 14. We are at a positive 15 points points now. So I could bring one and a half eyeshadows into my collection without having any issue in my bank. I would still be at zero. And that's so exciting. So I could bring one single eyeshadow into my collection, which is just you know, I'm not upset about it. That's that's a point in the right direction. I did, however, write down my goals for the month of March now, and I have some pretty lofty goals as well. These are just goals to keep myself accountable. It is not going to be super pressured if I don't meet these. The only one it's impacting is myself, and I'm just hoping to get the point so I can possibly bring eyeshadows in the future. I've also kind of toyed with the idea of maybe once I finish my no pan left behind, if I finish that before um, the end of the year, I that's when I can bring myself a palette without like, without repercussions to my bank. I've just been thinking of ways to just make me feel a little bit accomplished. However, saying that it seems like a cheap way, like you're just finding yourself a cheap way out to bring things into your collection. So I'm really gonna try to hold to these points. So for the month of March, my usage goals, I think I can hit 50 uses on one shade. I'm very close to a shade in my Pan That palette. And I think I can hit the 50 uses pretty easily within the month. So that's going to be an easy three points in my eyeshadow bank. On top of that, there is one shade that I think I can use 25 times. That would be another two points into my bank. There are five shades. I'm being a little lofty with my 10 uses goal again. There are five shades that I think I could have a fighting chance of getting into my 10 use territory and that would bring five points into my collection. So right now that's 10, 10 points just with uses. So if I get 10 more points just with my uses, that would be incredible. I want to always do four palettes inside of my no pan left behind. So that's going to kind of be like my goal forever is four palettes every rotation. That way I can really make some strides in that project and get some points in this project. Now, I have a little bit of a lofty goal. I want to hit two pans within my Pan That palette. But on top of that, I am going to try to get two pans in my Project Level Up palette, which is my Ensley Rain palette. I am nowhere near pan yet, but I am hoping that within the month of March, because that is a very green heavy palette, I can like I'm wearing some of the shades on my eyes today from that palette. I can get a lot of use out of Flower Moon because it has a lot of shades that I want to gravitate towards this time of year. 
Now on top of the pan goals, I do also have a shade in my pan that palette that I want to completely finish up, but that's another five points for finishing and eight points for hitting pan in all of those. So all in all, again, for March, I feel like my common theme is pretty standard with my goals. It's like last month I wanted to do 27 points. This month I want to do 27 points. But that is all of my goals. I have a lot of lofty goals for this eye bank. Man, I'm a little nervous. I know there are a few other people doing projects this style. I know Sophie Alexandra is doing a project kind of inspired by this, which is inspiring to me watching someone that's inspired by this. Like we just fuel each other on, I feel like in this community. And I really just love that so, so much. So please let me know if you are doing an eye bank, like a, a beauty bank style where you're getting yourself points for this. I would love to check you out. I know I've been really, really slacking on my YouTube lately, but that's mainly because I've been reading like a fiend and I will see you in the next video. Bye.